I am Venkat and this is the introduction to SQL Server Tutorial. In this video, we'll download and install the latest free version of SQL Server. As of this recording, the latest version is SQL Server 2019. Now, these are the four different editions we have in SQL Server 2019. Both the Enterprise and Standard editions are for production use, so obviously they have license cars. The Enterprise Edition has got more features than any other edition in SQL Server 2019 and obviously the most expensive. Both these editions, that is Express and Developer, are free to download and install. The Express Edition has a size limit of 10 GB, that is you can only use it to build small data-driven web and mobile applications up to 10 GB in size. The Developer Edition, on the other hand, has all the features of the Enterprise Edition. It's also free, but you can only use it for non-production use. So if you are learning SQL Server, then this is the edition that you want to download and install. Now, fire up your favorite browser and then search the internet with the search string, Download SQL Server. You should see this Microsoft SQL Server Downloads page. Click on that. And then when we scroll down a bit, you should see the developer edition. This is free to download and install. So click download now button. Double click on the downloaded executable. And if you get any security prompt, click yes. On this screen, you have to select the installation type. Basic installation works for us. So let's select that, accept license terms, and then click the install button. The installer automatically downloads and installs SQL Server. How long the process takes obviously depends on the speed of your internet connection. There we go, installation complete. And what we have just installed is SQL Server Database Engine. Now we need another piece of software called SQL Server Management Studio. And to install SQL Server Management Studio, click this button, install SSMS. SSMS, by the way, stands for SQL Server Management Studio. When I click that, it again takes us to the Microsoft Downloads page. And when we scroll down a bit, here we have the link to download SQL Server Management Studio. So click on that. There we go, download complete. Double click on the executable to install. Click yes on any security prompts and then finally click install button. There we go, SQL Server Management Studio is also successfully installed. Finally, close this SQL Server installer window. Now, click on the start button and you must find SQL Server Management Studio under recently added tab. If you don't find it here, scroll down in the programs list and then within letter M, you'll find Microsoft SQL Server Tools and in this folder, we have Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Click on that to launch. We want to connect to SQL Server Database Engine. So select that from the drop-down list and then the server name is the same as our computer name. If you don't know your computer name, click on the start button and then search for this app, System Information we can find the system name right here. So the server name is the system name. And then we want to use Windows authentication to connect to SQL Server. So select that from the authentication dropdown list and then click connect. There we go. We are now connected to SQL Server database engine. Click on this new query tab. This opens up a window where we can write and execute SQL queries. Now you can find all of our free software training courses under free online courses. On this page, you'll find many front-end, back-end, and database courses. If you go on to page two, we have our SQL Server tutorial for beginners course right here. This course starts from the basics and covers all the advanced concepts as well. On this page, you'll find all of our SQL Server videos, text articles, and slides in sequence. Your feedback means a lot. So if you have a few minutes, please provide your rating for this course and your valuable feedback on the reviews tab. Thank you for listening. Enjoy SQL coding. Mm -hmm.